Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's your girl, Magic Mermaid. And we're about to get into Sagittarius October 2024 tarot scope reading for all my Sagittarius sun, moon, and rising, Mercury, Venus, and Mars signs. Yeah, just throw it in a bag. Um, Like I said, this is for October. I already pre-shuffled, so I'm just going to pull the cards out and we're going to see what comes out. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, two of cups. Okay, starting off romantic, I see. Okay, and the star. Okay, beautiful. Then we have the seven of cups. Awesome. Okay, then we have the queen of cups. Okay, let's keep the party going. We have temperance. This is honestly beautiful energy. Temperance is your card, okay? Okay nine of swords okay so let me shuffle these once and then we're going to just grab the clarifiers okay period two of cups is clarified by the high priestess okay beautiful we have the ace of cups clarified by the star we have the eight of cups clarified by the seven of cups we have the Justice card clarified by the Queen of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords clarified by Temperance. And we have the Four of Swords clarified by the Nine of Swords. Okay. Dream sweet, sleep deep. Okay. Safe travel. Okay. And then beauty. We love it. Okay. Okay. And then the final are on a grandmother of Jesus. It says seeding the light, laying foundations, the divine plan. And then it says, yes, just say yes. Booyaka, booyaka, bo booyaka, booyaka. And then we have council of light, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realm. Honestly, this. I kept on using the word orchestration in the previous Scorpio reading. So that's a synchronicity right there. Just making you aware of it. Um, maybe they was like, since you want to keep using that word. <laughs> um, let's just go. Let's get right into it. Okay, we have the Two of Cups, Sagittarius. So coming into the month of October, you're definitely, um, I don't know, you're coming together with someone. In a romantic way, someone that you're attracted to. Um, this is, yeah, I don't know. It's a relationship. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but it could just be a partnership where two people are coming together and trying to see if they could build something, right? Okay, clarified by the high priestess. I feel like Sagittarius, you and this person might even have a little bit of a psychic connection. Like, you just feel connected to this person. Like, sometimes y'all, okay, so y'all are having telepathy is a thing. So, Sagittarius, I feel like a lot of the time you can feel like what this person is thinking or feeling or you can kind of pick up on what they went through during the day or something like that. You're just having these very intuitive psychic insights when it comes to this person and also this person is having the same thing with you they might not be all the way consciously aware of it you might not all the way be consciously aware of it but it is happening on both sides because you see like the high priestess she comes down and then it's like the two people so high priestess is all also about secret um your intuition or whatever so this could have been a situation that um it was the beginning stages, so you were kind of keeping it secret, not really, you know, making it known. So it could be saying in October, you will be revealing this relationship. So you could be going public with someone. You could be having your soft launch with someone of your relationship. Um, so that could definitely be a theme that's happening. But I, even with that high priestess energy, you and this person may be coming together in the dream realm. This person, you know, could be popping up in your dreams you could be popping up in their dreams um you guys as both of your higher selves could be giving each other messages through the dreams okay because that's something that definitely happens okay we have the star card here clarified by the ace of cups sagittarius this just tells me that this is a very divine thing let's talk about october is eclipse season and every single reading so far is talking about destiny 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 we all know that eclipse season 
always puts us on our back on our destined path. Like if throughout the year we have gotten led astray or we got off of our path, eclipse season is here, baby, to bring you back to where you're supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know why they was they just be talking through me. Talk about bring you back to where you're supposed to be. Okay, I don't even use post. That's not a word I use. Uh, so yeah, this new relationship is destined. It's supposed to happen. It was directly put here on your path at this exact moment, at this exact time during human history and human evolution, at this exact moment, this relationship is destined to occur this connection is destined to occur okay um the star is also an aquarius card this person could be an aquarius does not have to be okay um so yes you know new relationship who this i don't know we finna see <laughs> uh seven of cups with the eight of cups yeah absolutely because in this sense what i would say it's clarified by the eight of cups which is talking about walking away from one thing to go towards something else that is more fulfilling it's talking about um following your heart listening to your intuition it's talking about um like leaving something behind to go towards your dream life okay and then it's the seven of cups here which could have represented many options or confusion but instead because of the alignment of cards this is going to represent your dreams manifesting your dreams like you're walking into a dream so in the month of october sagittarius you're definitely going to feel like you're walking through a dream your dream not just any dream your dream you're like oh my gosh this is my dream i feel the energy it feels real i'm in the dream okay so this is what they talk about if you have not watched any of dave Chappelle's stand-ups he talks about the dream in his stand-ups if you ever can pick up and actually you don't have to watch it just do a google search dave Chappelle, dreamer he loves to talk about dreamers. We're dreamers. If you're here, if you're listening to Tarot, you're a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. We're dreamers. We create dreams. We make dreams every day, okay? So that's what it's talking about, about really following your heart. And then you automatically start to feel that heaven on earth energy of like, wow, I'm in the dream. I feel it because it feels like I'm floating on clouds, okay? Woo, okay. <laughs> queen of cups clarified by the justice card okay so um this is talking about the justice is about truth fairness honesty um winning winning okay it's very much a card about winning period um and beauty as well so queen of cups energy is just you know she's that soft woman she's that she's super feminine she's like super feminine she's like the the girl that every guy wants they're like oh my gosh she's so soft she's so soft like oh my gosh can i just touch her like so it's like that's the energy that you're exuding is that you're feeling very emotionally pleased very emotionally like high vibrational you you are feeling this sense of emotional fulfillment and in that emotional film fulfillment you are also feeling very beautiful you know because when you look good you feel good so you're even your inner is mirroring to the outer like crazy okay so um yes and also she represents the perfect wife okay she also represents um the divine feminine and she just represents like a woman in love so this is about winning right so it's about winning the heart of your love interest i feel like in this sense so it's about the truth comes out it's like oh i'm in love like that's a woman in love right there <laughs> you know and everyone can see it and it feels good it feels safe it feels secure you feel protected you feel soft you feel like okay and this can be reversed so i'm not just talking to feminine if you're a man this could be you finding your dream woman and you're like oh my gosh i just love her so much she's perfect for me like what god didn't play about this one 
So it's that type of energy is like getting the desired outcome that you wanted and it brings you like extreme emotional fulfillment. It makes you feel very nurtured and taken care of. Okay, so then we have the temperance card clarified by the eight of swords. So this is you. If this is you in the major arcana, Sagittarius, that means that at this point, once you reach that emotional fulfillment, you're walking through the dream, you are your higher self. Because that's all the major arcana is. It's it's you because we have these lower echoes of ourselves in the minor arcana. But once you get to the major, it's like you are operating in your as your higher self in each and every moment. So you're getting your own energy. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, I, I hate the lighting right now because it's going to mess it up. But look at, she's like meditating in between two pyramids. And like, what is the there's the wolves with the wings and there's one white wolf there's one black wolf and then there's the the chakra system and it then it shows like the enlightenment because it's reaching the highest point you finally reach the highest point of extreme balance and temperance okay that's when you have just reached that point it's clarified by the eight of swords so this is talking about before you were feeling mentally stuck. You were feeling like, and we talked about this in Scorpio as well, about those mental um, blockages, those belief systems that we have that kind of restrict us from manifesting our dream life. It's because we have these belief, belief systems that tell us that we have from when we were younger that tell us that, oh, you can't have that and this at the same time. In one way, you must suffer. And- you know, in October, Sagittarius, you're really moving through those those boundaries and saying, like, that doesn't mean I have to suffer. Like, I can have everything that I want. I can have all the things. I can have all the things. Um, so it's about you really letting go these limiting beliefs, letting go of whatever mental prison that you created that has been keeping you stuck in this energy when you know you don't want to be stuck. You're understanding like, okay, I have to switch up my belief systems because they are restricting me. They are holding me back. So now all I need to do is change my mind because like Funny Marco said, it's a mindset thing. Okay, a fellow Gemini. Like I said, so you're releasing this and you're reaching that highest point of extreme balance. People are seeing you. You're having that godly glow or that goddessy glow and you just, your light is just very, and it doesn't click off anymore because you've gained extreme balance. So you really know and understand how to remain in that Zen state, that heaven on earth state that I'm literally walking through clouds right now. I can't hear you because the harmony too loud. <laughs> well, I like that. That was bars. Okay. Then end of the month. We have the Nine of Swords clarified by the Four of Swords. Okay. So it's all good in October. It's all good. I feel like in October, it's so good. It gets so good, Sagittarius. It gets real good. To where the end of the month, when that distance comes back into play, or that pause that waiting period comes back into play you're kind of like what happened everything was going great and it's not that anything has happened it's just that can you remain in that heaven on earth state even when that thing that you feel like puts you in that state the most easily even when that thing is not around you can you maintain that vibration and so toward the end of the month, it looks like you are going to be having a little bit of a challenge trying to maintain that vibration without the thing that helps you so easily get into that vibration, not being around, or you could even not be in contact with this person. I don't know. I'm not wishing that on you or anything. If you don't want that, say, I rebuke that energy. <laughs> well, I'm just giving examples is what I'm saying is that you know, maybe you and this person are not in contact or this person has to travel with family or something. There's some sort of distance for some whatever reason, you know, and you really felt that heaven on earth vibration when you're with this person. And then when you're not with them, then you're going crazy. You're like, I need to get back with them so that I can feel that vibration again. And it's like, that's not how it works. 
And that's what we learn, okay? It's a learning process. I had to learn that. It was not fun. <laughs> but if I could give you the game, I could tell you that the trick is to maintain that vibration even at all times. And it's to develop um, a routine, a discipline that keeps you in that vibration at all times, okay? That's the only way. And this is how we all are, as a collective, creating that heaven on earth. Um, and we just have to maintain it so that it can spread. We need it. We have to hold it. We got to hold it no matter how. Like, we have to be strong. We have to hold it because we need it to, like, connect and then spread and then take over the whole existence and things. You know, it's already done. But, you know, the quicker everybody gets on board, the quicker it's going to turn around beauty i have a form which is divine i allow what is within to shine this is why i said it's giving it girl it's giving him himothy okay it's giving himothy it's giving i'm really him i'm the it girl i'm the main character not even that because it's not even a cocky vibe it's more so very sensual it's very like ooh. Ooh, I feel good. I look good. I feel good. I look good. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody just see you. They're like, ooh. It feels good to be around them. And they look good. Like, it's that type. Dream sweet, sleep deep. So this is what we were definitely talking about, Sagittarius, about this is the month in October, eclipse season. You're going to be walking through the dream. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to know, you're going to feel the clouds. Like it's a real thing. Not many people have gotten to experience it, but you're going to feel it. And I want your feedback because I know what it feels like. And I'd be so excited when to find out that other people are going to figure out what it feels like because <laughs> it feels good. I'm like laughing, giggly, happy all the time. I'm not going to say all the time. Yes, I do have things that upset me from time to time, but those things probably will last like 25 seconds and then i'll be back i'll be like oh okay like safe travel keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home so yes you're being removed from one version of reality in the month of october sagittarius and you're being placed into another reality in the month of uh october so it's talking about you we need you to maintain that vibration because this is the whole reason that god does it this way it's like i'm gonna give you a big ounce of it it's gonna feel so good and then when it's removed you're gonna be like no i need that back and i need it like to be always and that is what God is doing right now to make us all create the heaven on earth. Because then when we're all in heaven on earth, then the heaven on earth is just everywhere, right? Great. Okay. So we have seeding the light, laying foundations, and divine plans. So this month in October is definitely setting the stage. It's setting the tone. Okay. So the way that things are in October, this is the new reality that you're stepping into, Sagittarius. This is the new reality that you're building, okay? So spirit or God or the universe or higher self is giving you a glimpse into that world. You're getting a clear snapshot. You're getting to actually live in it, be in it for like the whole month. And then at the end of the month, <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be okay. You can be mentally prepared. Because guess what? When I went through it, I didn't know. It's okay. It's okay. Like, and I can laugh about it now. And I can be this happy about it now. And it's literally, it's okay. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. But it's giving you the glimpse so that, like, you're forever, like, getting, pulling that energy in. Okay? So it says, yes. Just say yes. This is talking about... Um, you and this person, when you would usually, you know, hesitate or you would usually let your PTSD or your triggers or your traumas, like, let you hesitate, say, no, I don't think I want to do that because, oh, I was mad about this and da, 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 uh, or I don't know, like, it doesn't matter, like, oh, I have trust issues about this, oh, I'm scared, I don't want to be heard about this, da, da, da. it's saying this month, it's not the time, just say yes, okay, when they say, hey, I'm, I'm coming to get you. Just say yes. When, when Shorty call you up and she be like, hey, can I come over? Yes. Okay? That's what it's giving because you're going to get a glimpse 
into your future. Okay. I love this. And then finally, we have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. I love this card. Look at it. Because it's like, those are like Ascended Masters. So they're telling you that whatever is about to occur in the month of October, this is an orchestration. We're all divinely, or like people are being put into certain places for a direct purpose, a direct reason. Like it's that detailed. It's that detailed of a plan that everything that occurs this month in October is giving you a glimpse of your future. Understand it. Write it down. Take a picture. You know what's next. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. We're going to go ahead and close out the reading. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at Magic Mermaid 25. Magic Mermaid on YouTube. Magic Mermaid on Facebook. You know what it is.